Hello and welcome to Gizmet Rising. So today I'm coming to you a bit late again with the weekly oracle card guidance. I think I'm just going to leave it between like Sunday and Wednesday <laughs> and trying to get it out uh, on one of those days. Um, but um, today is the first time I could actually apply myself to this and I didn't want to just do a rushed reading. So uh, yeah, I'm using the same deck that I used last week, uh, Carton des Levens uh, by Chuck uh, Spezzano. And I really enjoyed working with it um, during the week as well as uh, for the last couple of weeks. And I still wanted to, to work with this deck. And I've brought out the zoo for you. Um, so we have uh, three options as usual. And your option number one is this lion. Option number two is the shark. Here. And option number three is this elephant. So go ahead and make your selection. And I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who have chosen option number one, we're asking, what is it that you need to know? What is it that you've come here to hear? And what do you need to know in the time that you're going ahead in this week? What is the information that we need to have at hand as we go ahead? So there's the first card here. Okay, and it's Himmel auf Erden, so it's like heaven on earth, basically. And the story is a Highlander Geschichte, meaning it's a healing story. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and choose another card. I just felt that there's more, uh, there could be more to say here. No, it's not that one. Okay, we had this card last week for one of the options as well. It's Festhalten, uh, which is um, to hold tight, basically. To hold tight. And I'm just going to go ahead and read these upright and channel the meaning for you. So if I feel that there is a meaning that is reversed in this, I will... Obviously, I'll let you know that, but I'm not really reading these cards in a reversed way. I'm just basically channeling the meaning. And uh, yeah, so the the third card here is Glückliche Überraschung. So it's a lucky surprise. And it's also a Highlander Geschichte, which is a healing story. Yeah, so for those of you who've chosen the option number one here, which is this lion, I feel like... Um, like the energy is going to ease up and it's going to be a much easier time as you go along this week. You're going to find that um, where you might have been feeling a bit uh, oppressed, where you might have been feeling held back, where you're feeling that, um, you know, locked in somehow or uh, as if you've needed to hold on quite tightly to a particular idea or a particular uh, truth that you are able to kind of let go of that and really bring in um, a different feeling, a feeling more of peace, a feeling of um, of surrendering to what you have. And I feel that as soon as you've actually stated what it is that you want and what it is that you desire, that you are going to be able to create it and will create it with much ease. There's also the idea here that there's a, a lucky surprise that comes up. And I feel that the lucky surprise is that this is a week in which you're going to find that things just kind of work the way you want it to as long as you are clear about what it is that you want as long as that you are able to let go of this feeling here which is that of being um held tight of being of having to hold tight um but if you could just surrender to what it is that is coming your way or what it is that you're faced with you're going to find that you are soon going to be able to make a change or come out of it so the other message I'm hearing here is that if you're holding on to an idea that things are not okay, if you're holding on to an idea that things haven't been working out as they should be, or if, you, if you're holding on to what, whatever it is that you're holding on to, as long as you are of that belief, it's not going to have an opportunity to change. It's not going to have an opportunity for you to progress from that. And so what, we, what you need to do, what is advised here, is that you stay uh, peaceful, that you stay... 
um, that you allow yourself to be in a space where you can experience that heaven on earth, where you can experience that peace that comes with that, that bliss that comes with that. And to be able to uh, look for that, to be able to search for that so that you can actually bring more of that into your life. Now, I'm also getting the sense here that if you are very fixed in your ideas about life, about yourself, about what your capacities are, uh, about what you uh, expect from others, that it's going to be very hard for you to find a happiness and bliss and, and ease during this week. It's more a time where um, you need to surrender to the energy. You need to submit to it. You need to to give in to uh, a feeling of peace, a feeling of joy, feeling of being able to enjoy a feeling of lightness of being and I feel that with that comes a really nice uh, surprise and that could be um, between now and the day that I do this which is on Tuesday uh, between now and any time within the next week so perhaps next Tuesday I feel also that um, you could find that uh, you make windfall or you could find that something that you've been thinking that is, is not true uh, comes to bear or something that you had been wishing was true but you weren't sure of it uh, would come true for you and so I think that uh, it's going to be a much easier week than it has been last week for um, for some and it's going to be a time where you're going to be able to make headway there's movement again it's not like you're stuck in the mud and your your wheels are spinning and you're just trying to get out of there but you're not able to get out of there now you are uh, actually at a stage where you can actually um, manifest or create, co-create your life and you're going to be able to see the effects of that much faster than you would have been able to see in the last week. Okay, so I think this is a really positive reading. I think that wherever you feel a little bit stuck, a little bit um, held back, a little bit like you need to hold on tight to what it is that you have to in order to maintain sanity, in order to be comfortable, in order to just be okay. That I think try to just release yourself from that. Try to, even even if it means not really releasing yourself from it, but distracting yourself from it so that you could feel a little bit more peace in yourself and so that you can feel a bit more joy and a bit of gratitude, a bit of understanding about the, the sacredity of life, how how blessed you are in a way and that those blessings are actually going to bring forth more gifts and more blessings in your life all right so that's the way to to deal with this week <laughs> all right i'm wishing you a fantastic week ahead and i hope that it all works out well for you please stay safe and healthy and well many blessings to you all and for those of you who've chosen the second option which is the shark we're asking what is it that we need to know? What is it that we need to know in order to navigate this week? What is our weekly oracle card guidance? What is the weekly oracle card guidance? Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, which is the shark, um, we have the card sacrifice here. Alf Opferung is sacrifice, and then we have Florina Kintide, which is uh, lost childhood. And we have adventure, Abenteuer's adventure. And so what, what these cards are telling me about here is that you might be coming out of a space where you felt like you've needed to make sacrifices, or you felt like you needed to give up what it is that you truly desired, Oh, what it is that really suits you, what it is that you truly want, because perhaps there's been um, a belief that you wouldn't be able to do what you want to do unless you give up something or unless you do it in a particular way in which um, you are not going to be 100% happy. And I feel like you're coming out of this space and it's been fairly exhausting and it's been something that has... Um, not allowed you to mobilize yourself, not allow you to move ahead in the way that you needed to as yet. 
but uh, it feels to me that the way, the pathway that you go along on, as long as you choose to, to step on it, as long as you choose to be a part of it, you can actually create what it is that you desire. And I feel like um, part of that journey is a healing journey for you. It's a it's a healing space for you to be able to overcome that which you might have lost touch with. So as you go along in this week, you might find that you're quite reminiscent of the past or you find, might find that you are thinking quite a lot about people who've made an impact in your life uh, in, in the past, perhaps your childhood, perhaps early adulthood. And it seems here that um, that part of that, working with that, is going to help you to strip away some of the um, the some of the things that are confining you, or some of the ideas that are confining you, or some of the ideas that are making you feel like you need to give up yourself, or you need to give up what you truly desire, or you need to to be a certain way in order to have what it is that you desire. And so I think here that um, the, you know it's an adventure. It is an adventure to be able to work through this and to get through that. And I think that um, to get to the other side, uh, you're going to find that it's a lot more fun, a lot more life where you're going to, and that you're going to find, you're going to find as you get to uh, this week or get to the other side of where you're going to, uh, the other side of this journey, that it's a lot lighter, it's a lot sunnier, and it feels a lot more abundant than where you are right now. I think also that, you know, um, you tell yourself what your life is going to be like. The power of words are really strong. And so if you if you tell yourself something, you're going to believe it. And so I feel like here you also need to pay attention to what others are telling you and ask yourself if you truly believe it or if is it something that is yours? Is are you believe do you believe what is being told to you? Um because sometimes uh, people say things or people yeah people do some things or say things because they uh, are speaking their truth or the, their fears and uh, it's not necessarily advice for you it's not necessarily um, applicable to you at all and here it's it's it feels to me like if you are going to be believing things that are not true for you whether you've heard it from outside of yourself or whether this is you telling yourself these things, then it's going to be to your detriment and you're not going to be able to find that lightness of being, that easiness, um, that life, that shining brightness. It's just going to be outside of your reach. And so I think that this week as you go along, it's important to be able to really discern what is yours uh, against what isn't yours. You know, if somebody tells you something, ask yourself, is it really true what they are saying? Uh, especially if it impacts you directly. If they're telling you, if you, they're giving you a bit of advice about yourself, about your health, about your your well-being. Ask yourself, is it really true what they're saying to me? Or is there something else here that defines me more accurately? And how can I access that information? Can I go deeper in me to be able to access that information? Can I go to a place in me that's clearer and that where I can find the information that I need. And so I think here that, um, you know, it's easy to be weighed down by, by a particular set of beliefs or a particular uh, characteristic of a nation or of people or of a community or of a religious group. It's easy to, to take on uh, some of the ideas or some of the beliefs that people have and then to be weighed down by it. And I think that, uh, one need not um, lose a part of oneself, uh, a part of oneself that it still has this childlike kind of vibration, this easiness, because we believe in things that are not um, that are not you know yours to, to take on. And I know that what I'm saying is quite different from what the author intended here for these cards, but that's a channeled message. I'm basically picking up on the energy that that's coming your way at the moment and and coming. Uh, and that's surrounding you at the moment and 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 advising us how to to take that on or what to do what to do with that i think also here that we must um understand that um you must understand what you are devoted to and you must understand what others are devoted to because it is only that that is true for you at that given moment 
It is only that which you believe, which is true for you. So if you continue to believe that you are having to sacrifice or having to give up something of yourself here, then it will be, um, you will have to continue doing that because that will be a belief that you've cemented in yourself and in your uh, energetic um, manifestations. And so you're going to find that it it becomes something that's, um, you know, recurring or it's like a catch-22, you do you and you're not able to come out of it because it reinforces a particular idea and then you can't help but think that. And so I think that here, just try to look for this, try to focus on that, on this feeling of freedom that's here, of being held, of being guided, of having fun, of having just no care in the world and just being able to enjoy and having all that you need in your grasp okay so i think that that is um and also love i feel like here this could be love this could be romance and love that could actually be manifesting in one's life as well or has the potential to manifest in one's life okay so i'm going to leave you with that i hope that's been helpful and i hope that as you go along in this week that you're able to navigate these energies and work with what you have um, in a way that benefits you ultimately. All right. So I'm wishing you very well and uh, stay safe and stay healthy and uh, blessings abound. And for those of you who've chosen the elephant here, we're asking, what is it that we need to know as we go along in this week? What is it that we need to hear? What is it that we've come here to take away with us so that we may be guided in this week? Oh. Sorry about that. And so we have um, inspiration, or in German, inspiration, and and we have stress also. And we have Machtkampf, which is basically a power, a power struggle. Okay, so I feel here that it's... Um, I feel that as you listen to this video, or as at the beginning of this week, you might have had some kind of literal inspiration in your life or there might have been some kind of um, light coming into your life some kind of shaft of energy of light coming through to you and it's important to focus on that and focus on what it is that you have or how is it or, or what it is that you've experienced that is the most positive and most and the happiest vibration that you have um, which is going to help you to overcome any stress that you might have in this week overcome any difficulty that you might have in this week and I think that um, you might find yourself in a struggle with people because at this moment it might be that people people that are around you that their worst kind of qualities come to the fore it's almost like their vices are heightened so if somebody's sometimes jealous and uh, they're going to be quite much more jealous or somebody's uh, trying to um you know show themselves up to be better than you in some way uh at sometimes then at this point they're going to do that even more than they had previously or they're going to be, they're going to feel more insecure so they're going to want to make you feel uh or wanting wanting to compensate for that rather and i think that here here there is a time around you where you might find that as you move towards this space of inspiration and just receiving and 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 taking this beautiful energy that's coming away that's surrounding you at this moment you're going to find that it's it's it could be you could be robbed of it by um people around you who might be a little bit jealous of you or might not really jealous of you but maybe feeling more insecure about themselves and um i feel like here also that if you are finding yourself gravitating to stress if you finding yourself gravitating to a difficulty um that it's it, that you need to quickly remove yourself from that and quickly reinforce this uh strength that you have reinforce this lightness that you have reinforce this um 
this inspiration that you have, you know, this kind of feeling of gratitude, this feeling of um, being able to to just take and receive and give and be ready for receiving because receiving and it's actually you know it's seen in our society as something that is um that is it's almost frowned upon you know to receive it's it's celebrated to work and to give and to to give of yourself you know whether it's in charity or whether it's in you know giving of yourself to someone is actually quite a a cherished thing uh in our world but here i feel like this week as you go along it's important to be able to receive it's important to be able to allow the blessings that are waiting to come through or have started coming through already to basically come in and wash over you and and almost you know paint you anew as a result you know lift your vibration work with you on this level and so i think that you know let don't let mundane stresses or daily stresses get to you I think also here, be aware of people in your life who um, who mirror each other. P- be aware of people in your life who mirror each other, uh, each other. And what I mean by that is that for some of you, you might find that you have two um, people in your life who almost um, do the same thing with you, you know. And they those two people may not like each other or may believe that the other one's worse than than the other. But here it's almost like, there's this um it's like these people are almost fighting for your attention it's like they are wanting to prove to you that they better than and i think that don't give them any reason to think that don't give them any reason to um to feel insecure as a result of your uh, success and um i also want to go so far as to say don't um, boast about anything or don't put yourself in a situation where it might appear to be boastful because that's going to work against you and even if you're just celebrating yourself even if you're just happy about something and you want to share it I think that here there's this potential for your, um, it to bring up the darker side of someone and they might feel quite competitive with you or they might feel competitive with another they might feel competitive with another and complain about it uh, to you or mention it to you rather um, not necessarily complain but uh, I think that here this is it's interesting as you go along in this week it'll be interesting to notice where is it that there are these power struggles between people and what is the power struggle that is actually within you and that you have with yourself and where is it that those people um, that are in your life are actually having a power struggle in fact with themselves because they haven't quite accepted where they are at in their lives and or felt um, proud of themselves they haven't yet felt where that it's okay to simply be where you are and to love yourself regardless of where you are whatever your station in life that there's worth there's value there's beauty there's it's sacred wherever you are in your life and it doesn't matter that you're not where your goals are supposed to point you to or whatever society expects from you Um, and I think that a lot of people struggle with that in this in this upcoming week you might find that you are a witness to somebody who's struggling this way you might find that um there, there might be somebody like this who uh, so somebody who's comparing themselves to you it might not be direct it might me be more that they're not really saying anything but that you feel that um there's a different reaction uh to you as a result of them feeling this way all right and I think that you know just be aware of that and don't let it bother you and just focus on you focus on your keeping your vibration high and pure and just looking after this this inspiration that you've gotten because you feel like this inspiration it's almost like um there's been a watershed moment it's almost like there is some kind of um of gift from god uh, or a gift from the energy that's that's greater than us and uh, or your higher self perhaps and I think here there's a moment in which one can celebrate that and meant but but actually maintaining that vibration uh is what's important because what happens is that after the first few moments it starts to fizzle away until it's no longer the status quo uh, because we aren't ready as a society to have this here be the status quo we we are as a society we celebrate stress we celebrate this competition with each other we celebrate division to a large extent and so when you have this gift this lightness this 
bliss, this inspiration that comes through to you, you need to hang on to that and maintain it for as long as you possibly can because it is a gift and it's that that we need to be saturated with, not with all these um, these other things. So I think here, um, try to hold on to that goodness, that blessing that comes your way or that you might be feeling at the time at which you watch this video. All right, I'm going to leave it there. That is quite a specific message, I think. And um, these are quite specific cards. <laughs> it's not vague. Um, it's not vague at all. Maybe this one's a little bit vague, but the other two are not. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. And I hope that it resonates. And if it doesn't, I am sorry. Um, perhaps move on to another reading or to look at another uh, weekly oracle card guidance. And perhaps that will help you along the way. So I'm going to wish you all a very good week ahead. And um, may you feel blessed and safe and healthy. And blessings abound from Kismet Rising.